In today's video, we're going to be talking all about why it's so important for us to let things go and also understand that it's okay to let things and even people go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys see this fly, I've been trying to get rid of it for like half an hour. That fly is not going anywhere. I tried to light some peppermint incense. That thing is not leaving. So just bear with me. In today's video, we're going to be talking about why it's so important for us to let things go so much stuff that we hold on to and things that we've even healed from and this happens a lot in relationships you've had countless conversations about it where you guys have come to a conclusion resolved the issue but it just seems like it just keeps coming back up sometimes even though the issue is healed i feel like that is one of the most unhealthy most toxic habits and it's just that when everything is resolved and, and talked out and then in the future it you just bring it back up just for the mere fact to throw it in someone's face. Sometimes we hold on to certain people, beliefs, emotions, even places that do not serve us anymore. We even hold on to past conditioning, old wounds, and heartaches from the past. Now it's very important to be aware that these things can sabotage our present moment and even the good things that are coming to us in the future emotions, habits that don't serve us anymore puts us in a very low vibration. So how do you know that you're in a low vibration? How do you know that you're holding on to something that doesn't, you shouldn't be holding on to anymore? You'll feel bad. That's how you know. Like you will feel it. You'll feel low, depressed, sad, anxiety, frustrated, worried, stressed, angry, You'll feel these feelings and when you feel these emotions, you know that you're in a low vibrational state. And it's very important for you to understand that it's never a good idea to suppress these emotions. Do not ever suppress it. Don't brush it under the rug. Don't ignore it. Don't deny it and don't turn a blind eye to it. Because that way, like you are shoving it in a corner and it from there, it's like God knows what the hell it's doing in that corner. You know, it's growing, it's manifesting in other ways in your life like it's seeping into other corners of your life don't ever let these things just sit in a corner somewhere inside you you have to process them and you have to heal them and most importantly let them go when you can't let something go when you don't let it go it affects your present moment so much it's draining right and it also affects the way that you enjoy things and whether you enjoy it or not it affects your happiness it affects your state of contentment and it can start manifesting in your life in other ways like i said if you don't let these things go whatever it is if you know that thinking about these things or what else, whatever is triggering these things um if you don't let it go and heal from it it's going to just start manifesting into other areas of your life like say you have trust issues with relationships which is so understandable so many of us have it but it's very very important to understand that that trust issue stems from past you know it's it's something that we built inside us to protect ourselves in the future so now like we find it so hard to trust because of everything that happened in the past and so in that sense when you really think about it when you're so afraid to trust now and in the future because of your past you're living in your past you're letting your past dictate you and you're letting your past dictate your future if you put that story inside of your mind that i can never trust again because i was hurt in the past you're kind of creating that you're going to create circumstances that bring you that experience so it's very important for us to understand to let this go like it, if something happened in the past if somebody hurt us in the past such to such an extent where we stopped trusting in not only them, but in people, in life, you know? That's where we need to have the healing begin, is we have to understand that that was one person and that was in the past, and their story, their experience, their childhood, their beliefs, their vibration was different. And like, there's so many people in the world that have different stories, different beliefs, different vibrations. And so every experience is different. Every interaction with a person is different. And we have to understand that. And we can't let one interaction and one experience with one person 
affect our interaction and experience with another person because you're contaminating that relationship, if that makes sense. When we hold on, like when we're holding on to things, people, whatever, that just are not serving us anymore, um, it's like we're congesting our, like say we're like, think, imagine us as a closet, right? We're just congest. There's just so much congestion in our closet. Just clothes everywhere, dirty clothes everywhere. Clothes you haven't even touched for a long time. Clothes that don't even fit you anymore. Clothes that don't even like go with who you are anymore, but they're still in your closet and they're shoved in corners. They're piling up over each other. They're stinky, they're smelly, they're wrinkled, you know? Like you you always want to clean out your closet so you can bring in the new. So you can bring in the clothes that serve you better, the clothes that express who you are better. These are things that like, it's a metaphor, but like you always want to fill up your life and your energy with things, people, emotions, places, experiences that serve you, that make you happy and that resonate with you. You never want to hold on to and like keep a tight grip on things that you know are not making you feel good. Things that you know are harming you. Things that you know like are making your vibrations low. So I hope that this video helped in any way. I really wanted to talk about this with you guys because I feel like right now my life is unraveling in this way where I'm just getting all of this perspective of my own self. I'm, lo I'm looking at my own life in a deeper way, in a different way, like a whole new way. And I just wanted to share some of the things that I've been really thinking about and learning about. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.